The draw for the Europa Conference League knockout stages has been made and we're no in it. Why? Because we absolutely suck. Welcome back guys to the FIFA 23 Hearts Career Mode. It is episode 13 and I don't want to hear about any of this unlucky shit. Today I want free wins. I will do anything to get free. I'll kill. I'll kill. I'll happily cold-blooded kill to get my hands on nine points today. But yeah, last time out, we took on Florentina. Win, lose, or draw. We couldn't have went through. I wanted to at least end on a positive, though, and get something from the game. It was 2-1, 93rd minute. Gary Mackay, Stephen, great opportunity to equalise. He put it in the side net and referee blew the whistle. We lose 2-1. Not the worst result ever against Florentina, especially if you look at what Hearts have done in real life. So I thought, you know what? Let's not be too down on ourselves. Let's go into the Celtic game. Let's just make up for it and get a result in the Celtic game. And, and we lose 5-2. So it's not been working, right? We made a change in the formation. We, we ended up flooding the midfield. We took the five from the back and we put five into the midfield. And while I do believe we were playing a bit better, we were controlling games more, it, it hasn't really worked at the back. We are unfortunately now facing more shots. We're conceding more shots. And in FIFA, every shot more or less seems to lead to a goal. So going forward, we're actually going to go back to the five, two, three. I, I just feel like we've got more chance of grinding out results with the five at the back. I, I'm not exactly happy about it, but I think we need to do it, right? We can still salvage this season, but it, it needs to come now. The fight back, the, the comeback, it needs to happen right here, right now. It can't happen next episode or the episode after that, or, you know, five games time, ten games. It needs to happen right now against St. Johnston. So we're going to five at the back. We're referring back to the custom, you know, default formation. And hopefully, hopefully that will get us a win in Perth when we take on St. Johnston. It looks like St. Johnson are copying us though. They've got the exact same formation, but fortunately we have the better players. We've got Gordon in Nets, Cochrane, Rolls, Halkett, Sibic, and Atkinson, the back five. Benjamin Devlin, the midfield duo. We need those two to step up, right? They are undoubtedly two of our best players. If they start performing to the levels that I know they can, then I have no doubt that we can, you know, make this comeback happen we can but a big party it's going to be those two that teamwork in the middle of the park and Mackay, shankland and Ginelli are the attacking three i've also noticed craig gordon has dropped another rating he's now down to 71 and uh, the concerning thing is he's been pretty shit this season so the fact that his rating now is getting even lower and lower that doesn't give me much hope that craig gordon's going to start pulling off all these magic wonderful saves that we need him to make in fact it's got me thinking he's going to be even shiter than he's been and trust me guys look at the amount of goals we've conceded so far he has been pretty shite but speaking of shite St. Johnson are just above us in the league they haven't been great either so I'm hoping we can take it to them today they've got Parrish and Nets on loan Celtic left back Montgomery McGowan Mitchell Gordon Brown Willerspoon and McPherson in the middle and up front they've got Murphy Carey and in form Stevie May he's doing well on his return to St. Johnston but I'm hoping that we can pack him in a box and return him back down South England after this game today Corner for St. Johnston, Willerspoon, it's whipped in, it's headed away by Atkinson, it will go out for a St. Johnston throw in. So St. Johnston here, having a lot of possession early on, not doing much with it though, Cochrane will win it back for us. Rolls to Devlin, Benenjami to Cochrane, flips it over, it's Barry Mackay, takes it down nicely, plays Shankland in, Shankland back to wee Barry. And now Barry doing this left-hand side. What can Barry McKay do? He's going to try and find maybe Ginelli at the back post. And that's fucking nowhere near him. Uh, only person we've found. This is St. Johnston guy. But Atkinson does really well to win it back. What can Nathan Atkinson do? Plays in Devlin. Devlin finds Shanklin. Step over his feet. Lawrence. And he tries to get a shot away. But no, he gets pipped at the post there by Gordon. Ball played up. It's Barry McKay again in a more central position this time. But... Out wide or central, doesn't matter. Can he get past any blue shirts? We've found Benjamin. Benjamin to Shanklin. Shanklin again trying to play in Mackay, but pass intercepted. It's good stuff for Craig Halk. Look at that, man. Just comes across, wins the ball. When we've got Craig Halk at defence, we look a much better team. Without him, we're all over the place. We are panicky at the back. But here we go. Can we make St. Johnston panic? It is Shanklin. 
tried to play anything Atkins in there, but we've sorted, we've wasted, we've uh, settled for Ginelli. Ginelli has won as a throw in. Wasn't great there for Josh, but the throw in's a throw in. Cammy Devlin, gonna, well, it's one just raised high into the box and it's headed away. Nobody was there to attack it. Steps over. Finds Atkinson. Atkinson through to Ginelli. Oh, Ginelli's shot saved by Parrish. Closest will come so far, though, in this match. Ball to Shanklin. Shanklin follows it. It's another save. 100 saved by the goalkeeper. 29 minutes in, it took us to really grab a hold of this game. And we're right in it at the moment. Mackay, ball into the box. Shanklin trying to get the header flicked on. He doesn't. It's going to fall for Rules. Cammy Devlin, his shot's blocked. Barry Mackay again, edge of the box. Curls it in, but it's straight to the hands of the goalie. Oh, and we've intercepted that. Nathaniel Atkinson had to get something on it, and he did. Craig Gordon launches it up. He finds Shanklin. Shanklin into Barry Mackay. Mackay sends Willerspin the wrong way, and then cuts inside, and he's on a run here. It's Barry Mackay. Still Barry Mackay. He just runs into trouble there, but with the ball's broken for Devlin. Barry McKay out to Cochrane. It's another cross in. It's fucking horrendous. We're supposed to be crossing the ball into the box, not out of the box. More good defending there for Halkett, though. Bloody hell, he is the man, I'm telling you. He is a rock at the back. Not quite Dwayne Johnson, but a rock nonetheless. Ball to Benjamin. Now, Benjamin going to try and play it out to Barry McKay. McKay takes it down, finds Shanklin. Shanklin. Ball played out to Ginelli now. Ginelli cuts back. This is looking good here, Ginelli. Ginelli, oh, toe pokes it. And we can't do nothing with it. And how it gets done in by, by Stevie May. Inform Stevie May. Snap him. Take him out. Stevie May finds Willerspoon. McPherson. Back to Wallerspoon, and look at that, Craig Halkett once again, he is there to take care of it. Stevie May thinks he's going to get a chance. Halkett says, absolutely no chance, son. Now it's Cammy Devlin, launches the ball out wide. Can it be kept in? Not quite. Alright, it's half time. I think the improvements are clear to see. We haven't conceded a shot yet. And due to us not conceding a shot, we've got a clean sheet. I know it's only half time, but again, we're probably not creating as much going forward as I would like. But I feel like that's our best chance to win. I think to win games, we're going to have to just take our chances when we get them and, and try and tighten up at the back. Because we've tried, you know, going forward, we've tried attacking teams and it just doesn't work. Because at the back, we're not as good as the AI. So I think this is what we have to do. We've created a couple of chances. We haven't scored yet. But I'm positive that we can get that goal in the second half. So let's push on. Let's go. Let's try and find a winner. Might only need one goal. Keep in mind, if you keep a clean sheet, then you only need one goal to win. That's what I'm telling everybody at half time. Hopefully they get the message and hopefully they can deliver it in the second half. St. Johnston now an opportunity. The first real one of the game. Kerry strikes it from distance and Craig Gordon has to get across there. Makes the save. He's proud of himself and so he should be. It's a great strike for Kerry. And Gordon gets across, gets a strong hand on it. We concede the corner, but at least we give ourselves a chance to defend the corner. Because that, that did look like a pretty undefendable free kick. But, I mean, Craig Gordon's shown there's still life left in the old tank yet. But we need to take care of this. And we haven't. We haven't. St. Johnston lead. Just like that. We, we, we saved the free kick, and then they just bang in a corner. Just like no one's business. Craig Gordon... It's right in at the back post. Can he save it? I don't think so. I mean, it's... It, the defending's not good enough. It's a, it's a bullet header. And it, but it's a tough goal to concede, man. I, I just... Carey, he, he couldn't have scored the free kick, but he, he's made up for it there. It, it's a power header, but do I think Craig Gordon should do a bit better, maybe? Should the defenders do a bit better? Probably. I think everybody could have done a bit better there, to be fair. But yeah, after a positive hour, we find ourselves in a familiar position, and that position is trailing. I'm sick of fucking trailing, man. I'm sick of being behind teams. Why are you getting front, man? Right, can we do it here? Mackay. Mackay to Shankland. Ball up to Benenjami. Benenjami, fucking horrendous. Go Shankland. Through to Barry Mackay. Mackay takes it in his stride. What can Barry me do? What can Barry do? Step over. What the fuck was that? We haven't even won the free kick there. That is that is shocking. To not even get a free kick for that, man. 
I'm not saying it was a free kick, but the way Byron Mackay was standing, you would thought he'd at least draw the foul, but instead he does nothing. Benenjami gets back. He's on a yellow card. He needs to be careful. I thought he gave away a foul there, but referee didn't he? think so. And now it's Barry Mackay. Can he do something here? Can he make off? Oh, Shankland trying to play the one-two. And it's just caught out. Intercepted. Now it's St. John's to a chance. Halkett tries to put a block in. And the referees gave, I think, a free kick to us. He has. Ginelli coming in from the right-hand side. Benenjami. Benenjami. Cammy Devlin. Oh, it's another shot that's blocked. Civic. Atkinson here, we are looking decent. Trying to play in Benenjame. We might actually get to this, we have. Benenjame to Ginelli. Back to Ginelli, this is good stuff here, Ginelli. Barry Mackay, goal! Well worked, goal. We're back in the game, it's 1-1. It is well deserved. Well, in fact, we deserve the winner, but to get the winner first, we need to get back in the game. We've done it there. Great bit of play out on the right hand side. I think Ginelli made that work there. You can see the run that he made. Atkinson found the pass and Ginelli cuts it back to Barry Mackay and he just slots it low, making sure the goalkeeper can't get to it. Putting no height on the ball. Goalkeeper can't get down low enough, quick enough, and it's 1-1 in Perth. There's Barry Mackay again. What can the goal scorer do? He's found Shankland. Can we hold it up for him? Maybe not. Shankland's going to go on his own. Shankland. This time he does play it to Mackay. Mackay to Benjamin To Cammy Devlin. Devlin on. It's been... I think the rest gave a penalty. I didn't even see what for. It may have took a, a touch off a St. Johnston hand. McCurman is not happy. We'll see the replay. Does it hit his... Oh, no. That's a, that's a, that's a shocking decision. But you know what? We, we need every bit of help we can get. So I will take this. Can we score it? Shankland likes his penalties. No one else really likes them. It's going to be Lauren Shankland. Shankland to try and get Hearts in front in this game. Shankland. Oh, and it's saved by the goalkeeper. Are you shitting me? One of the worst fucking taking penalties I've ever seen. Hit it like a fucking fairy. And the goalkeeper just grabbed onto it with both. How often do you actually see the goalkeeper dive and actually catch it in midair from a penalty? Very rarely, but Mackay wins it back. Barry Mackay to Shankland. Shankland, can he make up? No, he can't. He hits fucking Janet. He hits, hits his own man. Shankland, they're having that absolute shiter in the last few minutes. And now it's a chance for McLennan. We need to get back. We cannot allow... Oh, he's through. McLennan's got past us. McLennan, it's looking dangerous here. And St. Johnston on the counter. Just like that. Get the goal. Probably the goal that wins them the game. I don't even want to see the replay. Fuck the replay, Jamie Murphy. Former Hibs man. Just makes things worse. I cannot believe we're going to lose this game. Actually, that's not the attitude. We're going to we're gonna at least get a draw at this game, but I can't believe we're not going to win it. I cannot believe we're not going to win this. We had the penalty. The game should have been put to fucking bed. But no. We couldn't have put it to bed because fucking Shanklin can't can't even strike a ball. Benjamin then loses it. Devlin slides in. I think that was a foul, but... The referees allowed it to play on. There's not a lot of time left. Now we've won it back here. It's up to boys. Boys to Ginelli. It's a oh, ball it to Atkinson. Atkinson's going to look for somebody. He's found Devlin. It's Benenjami, strikes it, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Well, this is going to do it. Benenjami can't even believe it. This needs to go in. If we've got a chance of getting a draw, this corner needs to go in. It's headed away, it's going to fall for, I don't know who that is. Benenjami again tries to strike it. It's Benenjami again. Atkinson. Oh, who the fuck's that to? What's this? Liam Boyce. Oh, it's saved again by the fucking goalkeeper's been kept in. It's into the box and we can't do anything. And St. Johnson will come away with an undeserved win. I cannot believe that. We absolutely pummeled them in the last, like, 10, 15 minutes of that game. And, and we don't get the win. It's, it's fucking unbelievable. It's another game where we dominate in terms of stats. We control the game. We deserve to win the game. But we don't win it. Because of this, that, or the other. But regardless, you know, we can sit and make excuses here. I'm not going to do that. I'll take the defeat. We'll move on. Next game, we'll have to win it. We have to win. It's as simple as that. We had to win that one, but it's over now. So 
You just have to win the next one. It's as simple as that. We'll keep moving on. Every game from this point onwards is a must-win game. So, yeah, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to stop. I'm definitely not going to lower the difficulties. I don't want to hear that. But what I, what I do think people need to hear is that we played well in that game. And we should have won that game. Uh, Haring apparently is being offered contracts. He could leave if we don't accept it. <sighs> I'm not really interested. Apparently, he could go with risk losing two players. Um, should we even try and get these guys' contracts, I guess? I mean, maybe. How long have they got left on their deals? Uh, Humphreys, five. Yeah, boys. Yeah, so these are the people that we need to basically sign up to contracts. Uh, we will sign Boyce up. Let's delegate a renewal. We'll, we'll start it. We'll start at four. I mean, Boyce isn't really getting much game time at the moment, though, so I am reluctant to give him... I don't want to give him too much. We'll start at four and go to six. And he's willing to accept four, so that works for me. Um, Snodgrass, I think we'll keep... I think... Oh, he's, Snodgrass is retiring, so we can't even... Yeah, Snodgrass isn't even optional. Uh, Ross Stewart is on £900. I'm not willing to go any more than that. If he wants to stay at the club and keep his 900 he can. I'll be willing to go to a grand, but... Don't really want to, and he's, no, he accepts another nine hundred pound deal, so that's good. Smith and Henderson, I mean, two younger players. I'm not going to worry about them right now. I don't think anyone's going to come in and try and poach them away. Nor do I think they might want to leave at the moment. Henderson's got a release clause anyway, so he can't really go. Although I don't know if that, uh, yeah, that, that cancels it. The six month thing left anyway, pre contract. So forget about that. Um, need player injured. Who's injured? Toby Sibix out for a month. Well. That's not too bad. George Grant's out two months broken elbow. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. The injuries are beginning to pile up. The injuries are beginning to pile up on our desk like a big fucking stack of books that we don't want to read. So, yeah, hopefully we can stay injury-free with the, the squad that isn't injured before our next game against Levy. We have an email from the Romanian FA. They want us to manage their national team. But quite frankly, I would rather eat dog shit than manage the gypsies. So I'm going to go ahead and decline this offer. No, thank you. Please never get in contact with me again. Thank you very much. Yours sincerely, Son of Scotland 90. Speaking of gypsies, I mean, let's go and beat Livingston. They've got, I was going to say they have gypsies. They've got something worse than gypsies, and that's nay fans at all. So let's go to their plastic pitch and beat them. All right, so against Livingston, we are sticking with the same formation, but I've made a couple of changes. Obviously, due to Civic Benut, I'm bringing in Haring. And up front, I'm making a change. I'm bringing in Liam Boyce for Shankland. I don't think Shankland's been good enough. I don't think Liam Boyce is good enough either, but... I at least need to give him a chance to prove me wrong. So that's going to be our lineup. As for Livingston, they're going to be George, Kelly, Fitzwater, Obele, Devlin, Holt, Kelly, Omenga, Pittman, Shinny, and Isma. I know I pretty much say every game is must win, but I actually mean it. This game is 100% must win. We cannot drop any more points. So with that said, let's go into it and hopefully bring home three points. Free kick there for Levy. Dangerous position. It's whipped in. It's a bouncing about the box. Finally, we header it away. It's cleared onto the path of Ginelli. Ginelli's going to try and take it around Obelay. We've got Liam Boyce make a run forward. Boyce is there. Boyce picks it up. Is there any Hearts players in the middle? Boyce going to try and find Mackay. He's too small. Benjamin though wins it. It's back it to Boyce. We need boys in the middle. Unfortunately, he's doing it to the side at the moment. Cross in. It's a good ball. Benjamin flicks it up. Folly. Oh, no. It's off the line. But apparently, the referee's pointed to the penalty spot. And for what? What is he given here? Did the ball cross the line? Is it a, a handball? I think that was going in. I actually think that's a justified penalty. Not that it matters because we can't score penalties for shit, but I think I, I do believe that is a penalty. And I think it's going to be Liam Boyce in with the chance. Uh, Halkett can also take... Yeah, we're going to give it to Liam Boyce. Can Liam Boyce score? Can Liam Boyce. Oh, I don't believe it. It's another penalty missed. Like, <laughs> I think we've missed our last four penalties in a row. Like, what is... Why? Can someone tell me why? Barry Mackay. Why, oh, why, oh, why? Barry Mackay, delivery, Ginelli with the header, and we've been gifted another penalty. You know what? These handballs are out of control. 
people, I'm going to put a poll up. If you want me to turn them off, I will turn them off. You know, we've been lucky. We've had two go against us today. But there's been plenty of times we've had it go against us. I'm, I am, I do think I should turn it off. But I will put it up for a poll. Um, you know what? I think we're going to go back to Craig Halkett. We're going to go back to Halkett. Why not? Craig Halkett. What can he do? He goes down the middle. He chips the goalkeeper. And it's no. <laughs> what? Are you shitting me? How's that not went in? How the... I, I actually give up. I actually give up. What do we have to do to score a penalty, man? That's five penalties in a row we've missed. Boyce spins around. Spins around Holt. It's Liam Boyce for distance. He strikes it again. And it's another save by George. I hate this George guy. He is ruining my fucking life. And just like that, Livingston late on. In the first half, score. It's completely undeserved. They do not deserve it at all. But it's a sucker punch. You know, I'm sick of getting sucker punched, man. Every single game we take a beating. We're getting punched left, right and centre. And we just don't fucking deserve it, man. Getting attacked. It's not self-defence, man. These teams are just beating us up. And uh, through no fault of our own. What's, Gord What's Gordon doing? I mean, you've got to make yourself big. But no, he's, he decides to try and shrink. I don't know, what is that? He actually gets finger... He gets finger, I don't know, finger nails on it. I don't know what he gets on it. But then they got enough on it. Robbie Nielsen's no heart. And I don't blame him. No wonder Robbie Nielsen is a sour-faced bastard, man. He's got nothing to be happy about. Every single game we're losing. Every single one, man. It's Cochrane. Benjamin. To Mackay. Mackay. Barry Mackay. It's headed away. Devlin will be there. Heads it, head it back out. Ginelli will rush to collect it. I think Barry McKay is at Devlin. Devlin's went down. It's not good. Liam Boyce loses the ball. That's definitely not good. It's back to George. He's trying to put pressure on him, but he manages to clear it regardless. And that is it for half time, guys. Referee blows the whistle. We find ourselves trailing in this match. What can we do? We, we need. I don't know what we need. Look at that. Livingston have one shot and they scored. We've had six. Their expected goals is 0 0.4, ours is 1.8, yet yeah, we're losing. Yeah, people are going to say I'm shit. When it is, the game's a fucking joke. There's nothing you can... Whatever, man. Whatever. Boys, come on. Please, Liam. Liam strikes. Oh, Liam hits the crossbar, man. Will nothing go our way, please? What did we ever do to piss God off so much? Liam Boyce wins it back. Great there for Liam Boyce. Maybe I should have been starting them all this time. Boys to Devlin. Back to Boys. Drills it. Saved again by fucking George, man. Who is this George guy? Can he not piss off? Boys trying to beat him. Drills it low. I don't even think it's going in, but it's a it's a good save regardless. Right, Barry McKay. Can we get a good delivery here? It is, but no one collects it. Devlin, it's back. Livy play it into their own box. It's a bit dangerous, but they will come away with no harm done. Liam Boyce again. Boyce, it's Haring. Mackay! Oh, saved by George once again, man. What do we have to do? Atkinson. Ginelli, right? This is it, surely. Ginelli cuts inside. Ginelli! And that's what I like to see for Josh Ginelli. You know what? I think he's actually been underrated this season. I think Ginelli has been... He hasn't been getting that much game time, but when he does, he seems to contribute, whether it be scoring goals or setting goals up. He's got the pace, probably the fastest player in our team, and he seems to be able to just to beat players and get past defenders and cut in and either get you know get assists in or gets goals in like that. So, yeah, no, Josh Ginelli, maybe we need to try and use Josh a bit more, be a bit more direct with Ginelli, but regardless, he's got his back into this game. It's 1-1. One, one. We give ourselves enough time to win it. 29 minutes remain on the clock. Can we find a second goal? Oh, we've just wiped him out there, but I'll take that. He looks like he's hurt. <laughs> it's even better. Brilliant. Call on the stretch, so... Ben Engineer gets a yellow, but I don't give a shit really. Bad tackle, but you know what? Had to be. He actually wins the ball. Ben Engineer actually got some. Oh no, who's taking this? Pittman, is he any good at them? I guess we'll find it the hard way. Now it's Shinny. Shinny or Pittman, who's going to take this? It's shots. Oh, I think it's saved by Son of Clark. Uh, Greg Gordon, even. That's a good ball. Right, Ginelli. Good touch. But yeah, they're, they're marking him now big time. They know what he's capable of, so they're, they're, he's not getting the space that he was earlier. Oh no, he's got round us. 
No, it's saved by... Oh, Craig Corden gathers it up just about. But I thought Levy were about to retake the lead there. I would have had an absolute meltdown. Now it's Barry McKay out to Cochrane. This could be an opportunity. Cochrane to Benjamin. It's Boyce. It's Boyce. Boyce turns around and Boyce scores! Liam Boyce, Northern Ireland's number one. Should he be Hearts number one? Well, if he keeps doing stuff like that, he very well might be. You know, he took his time. The, the shot could have been taken earlier, but we thought, no, what? We're, we've got a chance here. We're going to open our body up. We're going to create the perfect opportunity for us to strike this ball. That's what we did here. Like, we stopped it. We slowed down the play and we just picked it. We picked a spot in the, the back of the net to aim for, and that's what Boyce does outside of the boot. Swerves it in the defender, swerves it in the goalkeeper, and swerves it into the back of the net. Robbie Nielsen finally has something to celebrate. Happy days. It's 2 1, and all we need to do now is hold on to it for the last 10 minutes. Oh, fuck right off. Livingston score three minutes later. Again. We, we defend, we, we win sliding tackles, it doesn't matter shit. Every, look at that, we win the tackle and it goes straight back to their guy. And then uh, their man is unmarked in the box because we've, we've committed to winning the tackle. I hate this game, I, I really hate this game at times. Kelly with the equaliser and, and now we've only got six minutes left to try and, and find a third goal. I don't even know if it would be a winner. You know, the game's that bullshit that I think we could score in the 93rd minute and they'd still have time to get two goals and steal off three points away from us. But let's see what we can do here. Benjamin, we need to do something. We need Benjamin to step up. We need we need the whole, the whole team to step up. Devlin, we're a fucking horrendous ball, but Girelli tracks back, wins it. It's Benjamin. Benjamin, he's, he's underplayed that to Barry Mackay. Back to Benjamin. It is Atkinson. It's... Cammy Devlin, he strove it right into the hands of George, man. Not good enough. Not a great clearance there for the keeper. Devlin wins it. Benjamin, boys, boys just can't turn. Right, rolls. Back to boys. Barry Mackay. Still Barry Mackay. Still Barry Mackay. Mackay, oh, skips past his man. It's Cochrane. Oh, it's blocked again, man. Three minutes he had it on time. There might be one last chance here. Devlin out to Ginelli. Ginelli tries to spin around. It's Josh Ginelli. Ginelli into Boyce. Flicked it on. Cammy Devlin, it's going to get away from him. Devlin. Cammy Devlin. Still Devlin. Oh, fucking saved by George, man. This has to be it. Barry Mackay. Has to go in, ball in, it's not great, it's headed away, it's going to fall for Devlin once more. It's falling at four, who is that? Penalty, handball, something. Nothing. The referee's just blowing for full time. How anticlimactic was that? The ball just shot through everybody in the box. It hit off somebody, I'm, I'm appealing for a penalty. And instead the ref gives absolutely nothing, doesn't even give us a corner. He blows the full time, and again, look at the shots. Uh, what like what more can you do? You, you dominate games, man. You, you create far more chances than the point. We're literally creating like three or four times the amount of shots and opportunities as our opponents. Yet we're failing to win games. That's not that's not due to me not being good enough. That is just I don't know. Bad luck, screw job, higher power. You you call it what you want. I'm gonna call it God being an absolute. Bastard, man. That's what I'm going to call it. It's another game with foot a win, and we are now dropping even further behind the teams in the table. Hibernian one. That's just not what I wanted to see there. And uh, yeah, now <laughs> we go into the last game of the month. Uh, I said this was a month that we had to win all three games. We haven't even won one of them. And I'm sick of it. every headline is the opposition goalkeeper using heroics to deny us a win. <laughs> when are we going to get a win? Like when? Please, it's been overdue. It's been too long. We're still in 10th. We're, we're falling further and further behind. We're now eight points off St. Johnston. I'm looking at third place, Dundee United. They're on 35 points. We are on 14. We're 21 points behind. 21. And we're just over halfway through the season. There's, what, 17 games left to play. If, if we won all 17, that would put us, that would give us an extra, what, 51 points? 51 add to our 14 would give us 65. 
But I know we're not going to win every game. I, I still believe, I still think we can get third place. That might be delusional, but I think we can do it. But we're, we're going to have to start winning, right? We need to go on a, a winning run of games. I mean, we need to like win probably close to double figures. We need to win like seven, eight, nine games in a row. But it needs to start now. It can't start next month. It can't start, you know, next game. It has to start this game coming up at Ten Castle against Rangers. So, yeah, we will be absolutely on it. We will give everything we can. And I'm just hoping this time luck goes our way and we come away with the win. All right, here we go then. Hosting Rangers at Ten Castle. I say it every episode, but I probably mean it. Well, I mean it every time, but this 100% this is a must-win game. As simple as that. Unfortunately, Cammy Devlin did pick up an injury last time out. He will be replaced by Keo. Shanklin's coming back in for Liam Boyce, just due to Boyce not being 100% fully fit. If Boyce was 100% fully fit, I would have went with him today over Shankland, but I've got to go with the player that I think's got the best chance of, you know, giving us a goal, and due to the fitness levels, I think that is Shankland. Rangers are going with McGregor, Yilmaz, Golds and Sands Tavernier, so McGregor has been favoured over McLaughlin, it's Kamara, Wright and Lindstrom, weird to see right there in the middle of the park, and Kent, Morelos and Hadji up front, so there's the Rangers team, that's the team that we need to beat, let's do it. Come on, Ginelli, do something. Step over, flicks it, tries to get past Kent. Kent wins the ball, but it will be a heart's corner. Are we going to take it short? No, we're not. We're going to try and launch it in with Barry McKay. Back post to Haring. Headed away. Morelos is here. Haring's here. It's been injured me. He flicks it onto Kate. Oh, that's fucking horrendous. Why is he even playing? Ah, that's the last time I give him a game. Even his name makes him look like shit. Who has a bit? 230 letters in their fucking name anyway. What an absolute shite shot, man. Seriously, I mean... He's trying to side foot it in for there, man, and it's, it's nowhere even near the target. And surely when you go for placement, you should be getting close. Fucking closer to the corner flag, right? Let's go. I mean, Halkett's probably got a better chance of hitting a shot for there and scoring. I, I just don't understand how it was that bad. It's been like our season. Fucking horrific. And that's a terrible pass there for Rowland. Oh, no. And who is that sliding in? Kent now away. Oh, Kai Rolls has just absolutely cleaned Kent out from behind. And I'm surprised we weren't booked there, but I've got a feeling the referee will bring it back. Shankland trying to get away for the Rangers man. Benjamin looking for a ball to Cochrane. It's been intercepted by Hadji. And now it will be Lundstrom against Benjamin. Why is Benjamin running so fucking slow? What's Benny Benjamin doing? It's like someone's gave him midget legs or something. They couldn't. He just for some reason couldn't catch up to um, to Lundstrom there or Hadji, whoever it was. I think it was Lundstrom, which makes it even worse. Now, that's a good challenge for Faye Cochrane. We do concede the throw in, but it was a good tackle nonetheless. Ball to oh no, I don't like this. It's blocked, and the referee points to the spot because he's an absolute fucking prick. That's why penalty against Rolls against the ginger. Always against the ginger. Why do they hate gingers? You tell me. All right, as, he does handball it, but in fairness, his, both his hands are right behind his back. Can he, he can't really do much about that. And now it's Tavernier to take the penalty. He never misses, and he's, he doesn't miss there. Craig Gordon goes the wrong way. Tavernier puts the top bins. Rangers have the lead. We're losing again. Surprise. Fucking surprise. Right, Atkinson, come on. We've got Ginelli. What can Ginelli do? Can we find him? No, we can't. Atkinson runs it over and it's just... Ah, man. I'm on the, I am on the verge of giving up, guys. I'm not going to lie. This game has fucking destroyed me. And it, Oh, no. We've been done in there. And it's it's Rangers. It's 2-0. It's just too easy. It's Hadge. It's, it's Lundstrom. Lundstrom does in Cochrane there and he plays it into Morelos and Morelos has got an easy tap in. Right, come on, Benj, we play. We need the next goal, 100%. If we do not get the next goal, we may as well just pack up here and give Rangers the win. Shankland takes it away from his man. Back heel flicks it to Keel. What can Keel do? He's not done a lot, and he's done fuck all there. Apart from lose the ball and give it straight to Rangers. What a useless piece of shit he is. Halkett, fucking only man in this team that, ah, oh, I swear to God, if we'd, if we'd have lived in Halkett, we'd be doing all right, but unfortunately we don't. We've won Halkett in ten fucking useless pieces of, 
Maroon shite bags, that's what we've got. It's, it's maroon cut, it's, it's maroon covered shite, that's what it is. Right, here we go, Keo. Two, Barry McKay. Oh, I mean, surely that's not, he's been, we've been impeded there. Surely that's a penalty. I know my standards for penalty shouts have went down here, but I need everything I can get. I think he's taking us out there. Come on, get that. Get, oh man, it's went behind Tav, and he gets lucky, man. They get the, they get everything. They get the luck of the bounce. They get the deflections, and then they get the handballs. They get the goals, and we get absolutely nothing. That's what we get. We get the wooden spoon every single fucking game. Free kick to Rangers. It's going to be Tavernier. We cannot afford to concede this. We've got rid of it for now. It's right, Ginelli, come on. Please, Ginelli. I need you to find Barry Mackay here. We've totally found him. Right, this is it. Barry Mackay has to score this. Barry Mackay, please. Yes. 2-1 on the break. Hit them on the counter. Fantastic. Back in it just for half time. That's what I like to see. Barry Mackay and Ginelli. With their pace, when they get away from people, they're pretty much uncatchable. And when we get those opportunities, we need to start taking them. We don't take them enough. So maybe that's the key. Soak up pressure and hit teams on the counter. I don't know. Because the possession game, creating a dozen fucking chances every game, that, that doesn't seem to work for us. So I don't know, maybe just sitting back and hitting teams on the counter. Or maybe that's the way forward. Anyway, it's 2-1. And a game that looked dead and buried is actually... Back alive, we're crawling at the grave here. So there you go, it's one game we're actually not dominating chances, we're not dominating shots, albeit we're still losing. <laughs> that doesn't change, but we're in the game. Even so, it, it just goes to show, it doesn't matter if we're on the upper hand or whether we're under, you know, under pressure, we're still going to be getting beat at half time anyway, so I don't know. Second 45 coming up. I've actually got a funny feeling we might win this, and I know that sounds crazy, but I think we might. I don't know why. I'm just looking at how the previous games go compared to this game. I've got a funny feeling that we could see this one out free too, but I'm not going to get too excited because at the same time, I wouldn't really be surprised if we lose at 5-1. Tell you what, that's a good ball. If we keep it in, we will keep it in. Oh, we've skint to have an ear there. We find Benenjami. Benenjami, edge of the box to Keo. Who blasts it straight at McGregor. Hey, like Barry McKay. Mackay to Shankland. Shankland step overs, holds it up, plays it back to Benjamin. Benjamin to Keo. Keo out to Atkinson on the overlap. Atkinson's going to try and get across cross in. He does. Barry Mackay brings it down, strikes in, scores. Barry Mackay with his left foot shot. Beats McGregor, beats the defender, beats everybody in the Rangers team and fires it into the bottom hand corner. I didn't believe it, man. 2-0 down against the Rangers. And we pulled ourselves right back in it. Great run there for Atkinson. Great cross. Finds Barry McKay. First touch is pretty good. Opens up across his body. It allows the shot. Connor goes and tries to get across in time to make the block. He carried there. Barry McKay strikes it. Brilliant strike there. Brilliant connection. Puts it across uh, Alan McGregor. The old man can't do nothing about it. And we're right back in this game. It's 2-2 two -two with 25 minutes to go. Can this finally be the game that we win and that kickstarts our league campaign? Morelos is down there holding his shoulder. I hope his arm fucking falls off. But here we go now. It's Benenjami. Benenjami to Cochrane. Cochrane. It's Shankland. Cochrane. Shankland. Shankland! Oh, saved by McGregor. What a save that is. Fell on McGregor. I thought it was a goal. I did. Barry McKay lobs it in. Head other way. It's going to fall for Rolls. Rolls doing to Ben Enjimi, who strikes it. Oh! And it just goes over the bar. Good connection, right? We're going to bring on the former Rangers man, Andy Halliday. I don't know if that's a good idea. Probably he, he would probably rather Rangers win this game than us, but if he comes on and he gets the winner, he could be a hero. If he gets their own goal, then he's going to get beat up in the changing rooms. I guarantee you that. We'll, we'll, we'll remove his, we'll force, forcefully remove his uh, Rangers tattoos, guarantee it. It's going to happen, that's going to go out though. And um, Yelmas, <laughs> pacey, but couldn't keep that in. Right, here we go, it's Keo. Keo to Shankland, he turns around. Shankland, tries to find Halliday, but the pass ain't good enough, it's cut out. Barry McKay to Haring. Benjamin. Andy Halliday. Out wide, it's Barry McKay, Ben Enjimi's making a run. But Barry McKay's going to go on his own here. 
Barry McKay whips one in. Back post, you nearly there, but it's headed away. Keo into Shagland. Goal! What a goal for Shagland. First time, strikes on the right foot. I said three to a half time, and we find ourselves winning this game. Oh, man. We've already played Rangers once this season, and we beat them. And it looks like we could be about to do it again. If only we could play Rangers every single fucking game. So Keo hits it first time. To Shankland, Shankland first time strikes it and it goes round goals in. McGregor can he save it? It's in the back of the net and it is 3 2. Hearts have a winning position here with 13 minutes to go and it's all about holding on to it for this point out. We cannot allow oh, we cannot allow Rangers back into this game. And as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that, oh, Haring takes a what a legend, Peter Haring. Just when it looked like Rangers were about to pull the trigger, Matondo, still Matondo here. Oh, no, Kai Rolls has just killed himself. Well, he's not killed himself. He's got himself sent off. He's committed football and suicide. He's going to get a red here. But I think he may have murdered Matondo on the pitch. And as a second yellow card. <sighs> Was it worth it? You tell me. Uh, Kai Rolls just taking no chances there and completely cleans out Matondo. So here's the changes. We've got Nielsen and Smith coming on. Shankland is going off. As is Keo. Rolls Royce here. Can he make a big moment, big contribution? Just need to get this free kick away. We need to get this free kick away. It's headed away by Atkinson. By the way, heads away. And it will fall for John Lundstrom. We need to close Lundstrom down. We don't. It's Ryan Kent. H Kent against Haring. Oh, no. No, no, please, please. Fuck's sake, man. Really? Really? It's Kamara with the goal. We'll probably lose this now. We'll, we'll, we'll probably end up losing this. Just caught at the back. Again, we win the challenge there, but the ball just luckily breaks to Kent. Right, Atkinson on the run now. Three minutes remain. Matondo's chasing his back. It's going to be Andy Halliday now. Andy Halliday to Snodgrass, who we just brought on. Snodgrass plays with Michael Smith. Smith still with the ball. Finds Haring. Haring, though. He cannot lose it there, and he wins it back, thank God. Barry McKay, out to Michael Smith, the Rolls-Royce. Snodgrass. Snodgrass then cutting inside. Snodgrass finds Barry McKay. It's Halliday. Benjamin. It's Ginelli even, not even Benjamin, it's Ginelli. Bullock to Atkinson then. It's Snodgrass. Can someone bring us down, please, for the love of God? Ginelli. Andy Halliday against his old club, saved by McGregor. Oh no, Andy Halliday. This has to be it, guys. If, we ever, if we're ever going to win, it has to be here. Barry McKay whips one in. It's dangerous looking. Oh, it's headed away. The referee has given something. It's going to be against us, so, and that will be the full-time whistle. Oh, we haven't done it. We have not done it. We have lost. Well, we haven't lost, but we've lost the chance to win. We, ha we, had, the, we had the three points on our grasp. Three goals in a row. We pulled it back from a 2-0 deficit. But Rangers there with that late goal. That late, late, late goal. And again in the second half, man. We upped our game. We dominated. We created more chances than Rangers in the second half. And it just wasn't enough. So, again, I don't know what we have to do to win. I really, really don't. We tried there. We tried really, really hard. But in the end, it's a point. It sort of is two points dropped. I mean, normally a point against Rangers is a good point, but when you're so far down the league table like we are, points aren't good enough regardless of who they're against. So, um, yeah, we need to do something. I'm not quite sure what that something is, but we need to start finding wins. With 18 games remaining, we are... We were at the halfway point now until we played Rangers. Uh, in terms of the league, we're still in 10th place. I don't know, I mean... Can we catch Dundee United? They're on 36. We're on 15. The gap's still 21 points. I don't know, we're, we're getting to January. Transfer window opens up. I don't know. Maybe we bring in some players. Maybe some players leave. All I know is players coming in, players going out. We need we need three. What we need three points coming in. If we could transfer three points 
into our bank account every game, then we'd be good because we'd be climbing up the table. That, that's what we need. That is what we need. So, I don't know what we got here. Player returns. Alan Forrest is back. That's good. It's nice to see Alan Forrest back. To be fair, I don't think he'll be coming back in. I think Ginelli's made that right side position his. I think Alan Forrest will have to earn that back. So, I'll be interested to see what's happening. Halkett. Development, scheduled, yep, whatever. And then Cammy Devlin's going to be for five days, which isn't a big deal because five days is five days. So, uh, yeah, he, he won't be it for that long. And he, he'll be back soon enough. And he'll probably be back for the Aberdeen game. So, yeah, no no worries. Aberdeen, though, where are they in the league table? They're 12 points ahead of us. Now, that is 100% a must-win game. They're sitting in seventh. We win that. You know, we, we bring the gap down to nine. Obviously, if they win it, it goes to 15. We have to win that. I, I don't think there's any two ways about it. I think we need to win that game. I think we need to win a lot of our games. I think we need to win the majority of our games remaining. Uh, you look at the month of January, we've got Aberdeen at Tencastle, followed by Hibs at Easter Road, followed by Rangers at Ibrox. Uh, th that's three games that we absolutely must win, and it's three really, really difficult games. But I'll be up for the task, guys. Hopefully you are too, uh, and you check out the next episode. I think we're getting close to a win. I can't believe I'm, I'm saying that as if winning something. Win I'm, I'm speaking like winning a game's like silverware or something. I know it's not, but it's been that long since we won. I'm beginning to forget what a W feels like. But hopefully we can be reminded in the next episode. I'll catch you next time out. Leave a like, leave a subscription. I'll see you later. And until then, peace.